But yeah, I'll go talk to Rex anyway. When I get a chance, I'm going to check everyone's armour. Because I'm pretty sure I have much more better armour than this. I check my saves. It's definitely the right one. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. I don't, actually. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? Well? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Okay then, I'll bring you if you ever get a chance to fight Saren. I think that was great of Rex to, to do that, to be honest. I took a lot for him to actually allow this. Although I don't agree with it myself. I actually kind of think that we should actually not let this happen. You know? We could actually, well, you know what I mean. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. In my opinion, I think the Krogan should have a, that cure. I know that people think it's they're dangerous, but it's their right, you know? Why should they be, like, suffering because the fact people are scared? It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Well, I'll be ready now, anyway. Normally, I wouldn't think much of Solarian in a fire fight, but these soldiers seem well-trained. True. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. You will all be killed. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Um, shut up, Marie. So, I think Caden should take it. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew. I'll probably keep asking with my character, to be honest. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Okay. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. Hey. We'll be fine, LT. I'll be fine. Yeah, I just... Good luck. 
Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation in a single shot. For the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Staren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. We'll hold the line, people. We'll hold the line. I like that line, to be honest. That's not a bad line. Okay, so let's take Ashley with us. And... Hmm... I want someone who can hack into stuff. So let's take Garrus. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander. Yes, sir. If you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Thank you. Again, a Ashley's armor has just changed. My guess is during that scene, the armor goes back to the default. But then afterwards, it goes back to normal. Which is pretty okay, I guess. I would have been more annoyed if it's like, they made it so you can't... Get back your stuff or something. That would be pretty annoying. I gotta say. Okay, troops, let's move out. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant okay, Shadow's on the ground. Come on, troops. Charge forward. Fire We're gonna destroy them. On can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Whoa. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, just up to the deaths. That's good. Next target. Which way are we going now? Nothing like a nice, relaxing. My broomstick. My boomstick. <laughs> Why did I say broom earlier? Broom. It's boomstick, John. Boomstick. Got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Manavai. Oh, bad music. No, I can't see anything. This is not legal. I'm saying it anyway. Come on, I should. I don't know. It's difficult to judge it like with the angle.
guessing that's... Aha! So you guys are trying to figure this out a little bit. I'm assuming I've done what, what I'm supposed to do by there. We're getting pounded! Bunker up before the aircraft returns! Sounds like it's going okay, but not the most best. Which is understandable. Over here, I can't say it's not going well. I can't be. I want to be in quiet because of the fact that um, they're they're fighting and we're kind of like listening for the radios. We are now. Just follow this pathway, it should take us where you need to go. Is there any prisoners or anything? Can I open that? You've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Lieutenant Alenko and the Solarians to handle. They've got enough problems. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. At the end of the day, I'm not going to make them get all the work on them. Besides, we got to serve the action too, you know. But on a serious note, again, it would be fair for me to get to fight extra people when I could fight them, you know? Because they are having a... You could tell by the radios that they're having such a tough time right now. I can't like make it over like difficult for them. My guess is some Solarians joining. I swear I saw a Solarian fighting this this time. It's strange fighting the same species when they are, when they got someone on your side. But I guess that happens. Is someone out there? Go down here, someone's got a prisoner we got that needs to get out. They're in there, dude. We're on the way. We're gonna help you out. Get this way down. I guess we gotta go upstairs then. Ah, I see, okay. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I've said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Commander. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small in the noise. Just not go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. You could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? <laughs> simple! So confused. I wasn't sure if I should trust him or not, but not in the middle of a fight. Not in the middle of the fight. There's no one around. I'm a bit confused now. That must have really made him crazy or something. I suppose I should not let him out. But yeah, I thought he might have been an innocent prisoner, and he sounded like a soldier.
Oh boy. They're getting free. A doctor? There's, there are new cloaking to be doctors. Back off, you little annoying things. Yikes, we okay, we need to get rid of some items eventually then. Okay, no, no problem with that. What are they trying to do? Well, I know they're trying to do cloning, but it's like... Cloning cure, but, you know... Aha! Two troops guarding a door. That makes me think it's very important. Everybody in here? I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Really? See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh! <laughs> I like that. I that. Thank you guys. I like that. <laughs> I enjoyed that. So did I. It was fun. A little bit fun. And yeah, the yeah, I had no specific reason for that woman anyway because she helped all this. She's not she's just bad in my opinion. Although I don't know, but I difficult to judge again. I like I like this. We have like marching ma matching armor. I like this. We're like the Red Squadron. <laughs> That's our name for that one, the Red Squadron. Another one, huh? What's this one going to tell me? Wait, the mad dreams again. I can't dream what I'm not doing. Is this slightly... Is this slightly... Around? No. It is not. Why these explosions make me une uneasy? What just happened? What did I just learn? I think it helped me see a clearer picture or something? What are you doing? This is not good. You are not Saren. Cool what voice. It? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance. Incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The, sh the ship? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper? A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. That's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. 
Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Well, things got complicated. Commander, we got trouble. Let's hear it. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Yikes. This thing is fried. Orders, Commander? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. 